Back Teen Solutions team looking at what the city is doing to combat the spike in juvenile crime. Investigator Kelly Kennedy has been tracking the trends and digging into the reasons behind the increase for more than a year. Tonight, she gives us a behind the scenes look at how Cleveland is using grant money to rehabilitate teens and make the streets safer. The Neighborhood Safety Fund was created to address the root causes of juvenile violence in our communities. We wanted to show you exactly what the first round of funding was going to. We're here at the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Justice Center, where kids are undergoing music therapy in a recording studio inside the detention center. These seven teenagers are learning how to produce music and write songs. Now, the reason we can't show their faces is because they're also currently incarcerated at the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Justice Center. Your current location is not your destination. The program is being paid for by the City of Cleveland's Neighborhood Safety Fund. The Spread the Love Foundation received 50 grand in December of 2023, and they launched the Interest to Income program this year. We didn't have these outlets when we were coming up you know, which caused us to get into a lot of trouble. And I see the same thing happening to the youth today. You know, like they need somewhere to channel, channel their dreams. The nonprofit organization was founded by Bone Thugs and Harmony member and Cleveland native Anthony Crazy Bone Henderson. I'm told the seven kids chosen for the program are all low level offenders who earned the opportunity through good behavior. Teaching them um, not just how to make songs, but teaching them, you know, like different avenues of the industry, you know, like management, production. Mayor Bibb launched the Neighborhood Safety Fund late last year and doled out $1 million to local nonprofits across the city. The funding comes at a time when Cleveland is struggling to fight back against a wave of violent juvenile crime. How do you balance rehabilitating juveniles with public safety? It has to be all of the above. Um, we have to make sure that we are investing in young people so they never get involved in committing crimes. We have to make sure we uh, hold um, everybody that's involved in violent crime and criminal activity accountable. But we also need to make sure that when folks have done their time, that when we have rehabilitated them, that we as a city give them the opportunities and the dignity that they deserve. This particular program also focuses on music as therapy for these incarcerated teens. And studies show it's been proven to reduce recidivism rates. I think music is an amazing outlet for folks to reflect on their lived experience, uh, to give them hope and inspiration. Applications for the second round of funding close next Friday. These seven kids will be graduating from the program this Friday. They'll also be receiving CMSD credit. The Spread the Love Foundation plans on expanding the program and making it co-ed. And starting this summer, they'll also be working with probation-eligible youth. Reporting in Cleveland, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.